On February 10th, 2021, Kyle Higgins and Marcelo Costa introduced readers to a character for fans looking for a new superhero in modern times. That character was Radiant Black. The response was overwhelming as the initial issues from Image Comics via black market narrative were going right into reprinting. Something special was happening here, and it had only just begun. A little over a year later, an event debuted to introduce fans to not only new characters, but a whole new universe. The event was appropriately titled Supermassive. The characters were Rogue Sun, Inferno Girl Red, and the Dead Lucky. The Massive Verse was born. Rogue Sun debuted shortly after in an ongoing series by Ryan Parrott and Abel. August 3rd officially became Dead Lucky Day for fans as the series by Melissa Flores and French Carlo Magno hit local comic shops. Inferno Girl Red by Matt Groom and Erica D'Urso transitioned from its Kickstarter campaign to comic form in January of 2023. Every series has been a hit with readers and made fans want to see these characters team up again. Their wishes have been answered with Supermassive 2 hitting comic shops on May 24th. Before that book drops, let's get a quick refresher on the cornerstones of the Massiverse, starting with the flagship character. Nathan Burnett was a failed writer, in debt, returning home to Lockport, Illinois, when fate crossed his path and changed his life forever. On a night out with his best friend Marshall, Nathan comes into contact with a mysterious miniature black hole, granting him powers of super strength and flight, just to name a few. Once the connection is made, Nathan becomes the hero known as Radiant Black. His heroic tenure is cut short when he is put into a coma after an encounter with the matter-absorbing Radiant Red. In his absence, Marshall makes his own connection with the power Radiant and assumes the mantle. His journey crosses paths with the teleporting Radiant Pink and the clairvoyant Radiant Yellow while saving Nathan in the process. However, when Marshall gets himself in a near-death experience, Nathan reassumes the role for the save. Two people, one hero. What seems like a win for both crashes around them when their powers start failing, right when giant robots start arriving to Earth. This all leads to a dramatic change of the status quo, right before entering the Catalyst War following Supermassive 2. The story of Rogue Sun has changed dramatically since its debut in Supermassive No. 1. The hero there was Marcus Bell, the latest in the legacy of defenders against the supernatural in the Massiverse. Activating the Sunstone with a cry of Rogue Sun, Marcus displayed a suit of armor with fire stemming from it. The power set ranged from flight to a powerful blast from the Sunstone centered in the armor. Readers witnessed Marcus come into contact with Radiant Black and Inferno Girl Red in Supermassive, but he is killed by a mystery assailant in Rogue Sun No. 1. His estranged son Dylan has left the mantle and is introduced to a family who knew nothing about enemies trying to kill him at every turn and being a better hero than his father was. Dylan's venture into superhero realm hasn't gone off smoothly as his father's spirit served as an unwanted mentor until his murder was solved. Marcus's replacement is Caleb Hawthorne, the Knight Son, who previously held the Sunstone in the late 1300s. Caleb starts showing Dylan new tricks of the trade after Dylan is nearly killed by Hellbent, even taking over Dylan's body to defeat the vicious threat. Much like Radiant Black, Dylan and Caleb have a new status quo to deal with post Supermassive 2. Bibiana Lopez Yang, aka BB, made a brief but noteworthy cameo in the first Supermassive crossover before kicking off her own story later that year. BB is an honorable discharged veteran who deals with PTSD and survivor's guilt after serving in Afghanistan. BB returns to a vastly changed hometown of San Francisco. The tech company Morrow is attempting to transform the city into a vision of tomorrow in their eyes. Fighting them for their own reasons is the salvation game. BB is now caught in the middle. Luckily, she is now capable of controlling electricity, using her powers to generate electrical blasts, controlling electrical machinery such as mechs used by Morrow, and seeing the energy spirits of her fallen platoon. In the words most synonymous with BB, it isn't enough to be good, she'll have to be lucky. The battle for San Francisco hit close to home as BB's parents restaurant was destroyed in an altercation while her ex, Eddie, sacrificing himself to stop a powerful Moro drone from killing BB. The fighting finally ends when BB cuts a deal for the Salvation Game as she becomes the face of Moro's special crimes division. Little does Moro realize BB isn't going to rest until Moro is taken down once and for all. One character that isn't slated to appear in Supermassive 2, but worth noting, is Inferno Girl Red. Cassie Acosta made her debut in Supermassive 1 before her Kickstarter campaign published in November of 2022. Cassie crossed over to the Massiverse from her own timeline where she was chasing a creature. Cassie ran into Marshall, Radiant Black, and Marcus, Rogue Sun, teaming up for an adventure that left fans wanting more. 
When she finally debuted in her own series, Cassie is heading to a private academy known as the Helix Campus. While there, a villain by the name of the Griffin makes a bold first move and makes his presence known. He removes Apex City from its foundation and transports it away. Cassie is in the library of Helix Campus watching this unfold when a strange red object crashes through the window and attaches itself to her. The armband gives her powers of flight via dragon wings and a devastating dragon energy blast. With the words Inferno Ignite yelled and the support of her mother, Cassia headed into the dangers awaiting. This was enough to take down the Griffin, but not enough to save her mother, who was taken hostage and is transported to an unknown location. Now left with a newly forged focus, Cassia looks to be the hero her mother always saw in her and the one Apex City needs. 2023 has already been a huge year for the Massive Verse team, with a monster addition to the roster, the mysterious No One by Kyle Higgins, Brian Bouchelato, and Geraldo Borges, and his companion podcast, Who Is No One, starring Rachel Lee Cook and Pat Oswalt. With that series going into second and third printings, the momentum shifts back to the founding characters and the crossover sequel fans have been clamoring for. The creative team behind the 50-page special dropping May 24th are Kyle Higgins, Ryan Parrott, Melissa Flores, and Matt Groom on writing duties, with Daniele DiNicuolo and Walter Biamonte handling art duties. Seeing what spiraled out of the pages of the first meeting, Massive Verse fans know that this is a huge event. To readers jumping in, they're going to witness firsthand how this line of books is revolutionizing the superhero genre with its creativity and characters. From surprise QR codes, choose your own adventure style issues, and Discord interaction, no one is doing it quite like the Black Market Narrative team. Each series stands on its own and doesn't need to be read all together to get the full story. However, when these heroes meet up under one story, the only way to describe it is super massive.